So um, what we're going to be uh, showing here is a um, CNN trained AI for gesture recognition. So actually following some of these previous presentations, it kind of fits in very well. Um, so you know, we've already seen how with human pose estimation with a single RGB uh, camera, we can identify the skeletal um, pose, right? So we can find a skeleton, we can find someone standing there. And what we want to do is start to give meaning to those poses. So not just find the skeleton uh, or find the pose that it's in, but also um, provide meaning for that. So the, the kind of the concept for this came about through, I was working um, on a project uh, with augmented and virtual reality avatars. And I wanted to be able to, with motion capture, which is my background, be able to interact with that virtual character in a natural way. So um, if I had a virtual object and I held it out, you know, if I'm in front of somebody and I just hold out an object, uh, the natural reaction is for them to kind of just take it from me. Um, now if I start to combine different gestures, uh, hold out an object and point somewhere, maybe they take it and put it in that position. Um, so that's kind of where this thing started. And this demo is really kind of the first step in the evolution um, of that project. So, um, so this is uh, Vinod Mahitri. He's um, a graduate assistant of mine in The Hive. Uh, and in The Hive, we have a series of different technologies. It's the home of innovation, visualization, and exploration. And it's really where students can kind of um, augment their uh, regular curriculum with different um, technologies. So. What we have um, here is the Haddington Dynamics uh, Dexter robot, which is a 3D printed um, five axis robot. And um, what we're gonna be showing is some uh, hand gesture recognition. So uh, from the previous presentations, we've seen facial recognition, um, body recognition. So this is gonna be hand recognition so the idea here is that if you think of um, sign language, right, that we should be able to combine a series of different hand gestures and have the robot perform some kind of action. Now we can kind of take that further and even be able to use uh, sign language or hand gestures to then be able to um, write code. So we can use those hand gestures to write code, place that code, um, inside of other code and basically even structure a program with that. Um, so the, the kind of the, the further goal of this is to be able to combine all of these different uh, computer vision techniques with other sensors and, and other, um, other techniques. So if we're using audio, uh, gesture recognition, um, other sensors, um, light sensors, motion sensors, all those kinds of things as well, then we can really start to develop complex interaction with, uh, with robotics. What we're gonna be running is the DDE, uh, and the DDE is a software that uh, runs the um, Dexter robot. And the rest of this program was developed in Python um, through Jupyter Notebook. We'll first run a program in the DDE, which will run in a loop. And what that will be doing is looking for, um, looking at the camera and looking for a gesture that's in the camera. Uh, basically a file that it sends, an image. That image will go into the, um, the CNN trained um, uh, neural network and uh, basically run that image to find the number that it should be pointing at. Okay, it's rebooting now, of course. Now that we're on stage, it needs to reboot. I suppose slides would have been easier, although I love live demos. <laughs> 